Standing at the edge of a cliff, you may feel a sense of precariousness creeping up on you. The abyss beckons to you from below. This urge to jump, or the high place phenomenon, apparently springs from a distortion of our perceptions. Research in cognitive science and clinical psychology shows that the urge to jump is related to our vestibular system, fear, and cognition. Jennifer Hames, a clinical psychologist at the University of Notre Dame, specializing in suicidal behavior, calls it the high place phenomenon. In a remarkable study of 431 subjects, she and her colleagues found that half had experienced the urge to jump at least once in their lives, even though they had never contemplated suicide. This strange urge apparently springs from a distortion of our perceptions. Lab tests have shown that people estimate disgusting things, such as feces, to be closer than they really are. Another example is perceiving that the width of a plank on which someone is walking is smaller than it really is. Similarly, we overestimate vertical distances. This vertical bias tends to make heights feel scarier. As the height increases, so does our consequent fear. Oddly, this distance bias is absent when it comes to horizontal distances. The discomfort we feel on a ledge is eerily reminiscent of motion sickness. Motion sickness is caused by a dissonance between different sensory systems which are crucial for maintaining balance. Symptoms arise mainly as a result of a conflict between our visual and vestibular systems. The vestibular system is responsible for spatial orientation, posture adjustments, and balance. The vestibular system is a tiny apparatus in the inner ear and consists of the utricle and saccule, which detect gravity to aid in vertical orientation. If the vestibular system perceives movement, but the visual system does not, or vice versa, it triggers a conflict in the brain. Such dissonance disrupts our balance, so maintaining balance, as a tightrope walker does, requires arduous practice. People with poor postural control report a stronger urge to jump than people with steady footing. The obstacles created by distorted visual perception or overestimation, poor posture control, and flawed vestibular signals fuel the fear that we feel at the edge of steep places, and they fuel our urge to jump. Hames describes the urge to jump as a result of the conscious brain misinterpreting alarm signals from the brain's safety centers due to a delay in processing information. The amygdala is part of the brain's safety center and detects potential threats in the environment. It works quickly and sends an alarm signal to the cortex when it detects a potential threat. The cortex, however, processes information relatively slowly. It recognizes the signal, but is unsure of the cause. This uncertainty is responsible for our sense of perturbation on a ledge. It should come as no surprise that people who felt the urge to jump were often more anxious, as evidenced by their sweaty palms, increased heartbeat, and other common physiological symptoms of anxiety triggered by the amygdala. So, is it necessarily bad to have a distorted perception or severe anxiety about falling to your death? Of course not. It is your survival instincts that force you to retreat to a safer place. In other words, feeling the sudden need to take a step back is a very good thing.